For this video, we're going to recall how a combination of signals can evoke a response that's different from the sum of the effects that each signal can trigger on its own. Each cell responds to a limited set of extracellular signals, depending on its history and its current state. A cell's specialized function allows it to respond very selectively to the mixture of hundreds of signals in its environment, ignoring some and reacting to others. If a cell responds to a signal, it depends on if it has a receptor for that specific signal. Without the correct receptor, the cell will not respond to signals. This helps restrict the types of signals that can affect it. There are two types of extracellular signals. One type is too large or hydrophilic, and they can't cross the plasma membrane. They rely on receptors on the surface of the cell. The second class consists of signals that are small enough or hydrophobic. They can cross the plasma membrane, and they bind to intracellular proteins. This is a diagram of what the cell surface receptor looks like. So in the red, we have the extracellular signaling molecule, which is too large or hydrophilic to pass through the plasma membrane. So it relies on the cell surface receptor protein, which is colored in green. Once it gets through, it then generates the intracellular signaling molecule. In this diagram, we have intracellular receptors being demonstrated. So in the red, we have the extracellular signal molecule, and it's small or hydrophobic, which allows it to pass easily through the plasma membrane, and then either in the cytosol or in the nucleus, in this case the nucleus, the intracellular receptor and the extracellular signal will bond together, and this will help regulate any functions that wants to be carried out in the cell. Different types of cells respond to the same signal in different ways. For example, when a heart pacemaker cell is exposed to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, its rate of firing decreases. When a salivary gland is exposed to the same signal, it secretes components of saliva, even though the receptors are the same on both types of cells. The extracellular signal molecule isn't the sole message to the cell. The information conveyed by the cell depends on how the cell receives and interprets the signal. Because a cell has so many types of receptors, it makes the cell sensitive to many different signals. A small number of signal molecules used in different combinations have subdued complex control over cell behavior. A combination of signals can invoke a response that is different from the sum of the effects that each signal would trigger on its own. One may enable the cell to survive. Others may drive it to grow and divide or to differentiate. And in the absence of proper signals, most animal cells are programmed to kill themselves.